Hi, sweet soul. In this video, I'm going to give you six ways how to stop attracting narcissists into your life. Megan Elise here. For those who don't know me, I'm a rapid transformational therapist and clinical hypnotherapist helping souls heal without years of therapy in their journey. So in this video, why should you listen to me? I have so much lived experience with narcissists. I don't say that like proudly, but clearly that was part of my journey. And also part of my journey was healing from this and then being able to share insights, not only from a lived experience, but from my now knowledge and training with the subconscious and how to heal from very toxic relationships and childhood trauma. If you had a narcissist parent or if you went through a narcissist with a relationship. So I've had very close relationships with narcissists, covert ones, overt ones. So not only do I have a lifetime of knowledge, but I do have the experience of understanding what really goes on on a subconscious mind and energetic level as well. So here we go. Six, Six ways on how to stop attracting narcissists into your life. Number one, core wounds need to be healed and to be addressed. So first of all, you need to tune in what are those core wounds and what I mean by core wounds is the, what you're operating from your subconscious. So if you have a core wound around a healthy sense of self, so self-love, self-value, self-worth, uh, self-confidence, self-belief, self-image, self, it comes from yourself. But if you have a core wound where you weren't gifted a healthy sense of self when you were growing up, so therefore instead of tuning inward, it was external. This person, this coach, this parent, this friend gifts me the sense of self, the health, the feeling good. If you give permission for people to make you feel a type of way, you also give them permission to take that away from you. So core wounds, what could that be? Anything around worthiness, anything around, um, like I said, the self, self-love and self-acceptance. If we always put that on our external, oh my gosh, narcissists are like, I'll give you that sense of um, safety and feeling the love and feeling the worthiness and feeling what you can gift yourself, you are getting it from the narcissist and you're attracting them because you're operating subconsciously that you're not wanted, you're not good enough, you're not worthy. So how you can start to shift this core wounding First of all, seek professional help. I really do recommend that. If you don't have the resources and that's just not a viable option for you right now, definitely you can do a lot of self-healing on your own. And that's what we're gonna go through in this video. But when you have the resources to invest in your healing journey, I absolutely recommend EMDR for healing from the in the moment trauma from toxic narcissistic relationships. But then further rapid transformational therapy, I say this with pure authenticity that this was the only therapy that healed core wounding because you have to go back to what has led you to be that codependent to operate subconsciously from I'm not worthy, I'm not important, I'm not valuable, where that began, where you learned that, where that was instilled and installed within you, either intentionally from a narcissistic parent or unintentionally from the lived experience and the environment you grew up on. In. <laughs> the environment you grew up in. How to start doing this on your own is really a new narrative. So that's number two. Rewrite your narrative about yourself. So telling yourself, I am innately worthy. I am innately enough. Always tuning inward. Notice when you start to allow a compliment from someone instead of amplifying what is already within you, that worthiness and enoughness within you, notice if that's your only source. Compliments and kind people can amplify what's already within you, but you have to have that health, healthy sense of self already within you. So how do you build that? Look in the mirror every single day. Stare at your eyeballs. Look at yourself and with an 
activating presence. Look at yourself and tell yourself, I am innately worthy. My essence is enough. My mere existence proves my enoughness. You need to allow this to anchor in to not only your mind, your conscious and your subconscious, but to your heart, to all levels and layers of your being. And mirror work is so powerful. It helps with that identity shift. You're looking at yourself, like really let that anchor and sink in, even if you have one, two or three phrases. My favorite ones to gift you are, I'm innately worthy, like innately. Look at a baby. They don't have to do anything or be a certain way to be worthy of love, to be worthy of their needs to be met, right? You were that baby. You came in on this planet innately worthy, innately enough. Do not, do not give that away to anyone to gift you what is you. So it's time you take your power back and you yourself know if a deep resonance that you are worthy, you are enough, you are wanted. Sometimes we just want to feel wanted. So we operate from this core wound of not feeling wanted. Oh, the narcissist, the narcissist wants you because you're their supply. But guess what? You can want you. The universe wants you. The unseen wants you. You're wanted. But you need to feel that first. Fill yourself up first. So start to write this new narrative, this new story about yourself. A lot of um, people who suffer from attracting narcissists are codependent, right? We're codependent on someone else to make us feel feel worthy, feel good enough, feel wanted, feel valuable, feel important. You have to start to meet your own needs. So this can root back to childhood where your needs weren't met and you had to meet other people's needs to feel a little bit of sense of, of love. It's false love if it's from a narcissistic parent, like they can't, they just have an empty cup. They, they can't give from an empty cup, right? But we learned that we can't, we, we need someone else to meet our needs for us. So start to tell yourself a new story. I am capable. I can do this. I have everything within me to thrive. What is empowering to you? Rewrite your story. Because if it's like, I need this other person and you're giving away all your power, this story is not going to help you. It is time we get out of the victim mindset. Stop living in this, I can't do this on my own, I'm not capable. If you keep thinking that your current circumstance is going to dictate your future and your past is gonna dictate your future versus what you decide is going to dictate your future, look at the, the difference in those stories. So establish this strong self sense of self and self identity every single day, write down who you want to be, how you want to feel so that you can have a clear roadmap. This is what I'm embodying. And you look in that mirror every single day and you embody it, you anchor it in. And at first it's going to feel funny and it's going to feel foreign and not authentic and not who you are because it's not. You are embodying a higher level of yourself. And guess what? That worthiness, that enoughness, that strength, that resiliency, that is in you. You were born with it. <laughs> Tap into it. Number three, lean onto the support of the unseen. So what that could look like and mean like God, angels, divine team, energy, source, spirit, the word matters not, whatever you connect to, so you can know and feel you're connected to something beyond just the 3D reality of what narcissists live in, which is just three dimensional that you actually as the person you are I know you watching you are ascending you are dropping into being that 5d highest level self because narcissists love that they're attracted to that so lean on to the help and the support of the unseen pray um ask for protection ask for support ask for a sign so you know you are not alone 
even if like you're leaving the narcissist and you feel like oh, I'm I'm so alone. You're not alone. You're not alone, my friends. You are so supported beyond what you can see. Number four, this identity shift that you are independent. So no longer this story of I'm codependent, I need somebody else. You can allow someone else again to amplify what's within you, but it's independence, these interdependent relationships where you are your whole and complete on your own and two together amplify each other. So this identity shift comes from the way you see yourself, the way you speak about yourself, the way you talk about yourself, what you decide to believe in. If you believe I cannot do this on my own, you're going to keep attracting narcissists because they love that. <laughs> they love that you need them. You're their supply. Number five, uh, vow breaking, releasing from narcissists. So I'm going to recommend a video by Steve Nobel. He has two videos where it's like more of the energetic clearing and vow breaking. You might have contracts from past lifetimes. You might have um, just unintentional, unknowingly unconscious agreements with the, these types of people and to break those. So I'm gonna leave those in the description link. I recommend you listening to them once, twice. You just put it on and allow psh, the magic to happen. If you're finding value in this video so far, hit the like button so that others can receive the value from this content as well. Thank you so much. Number six, a self-fulfilling prophecy of post-traumatic growth that what you experienced, it's not a black hole that you're just gonna go down and never come out of. Yes, it can be black and dark energy from what you experienced, but instead of a black hole, it's a trampoline. And post-traumatic growth, because you went through that experience, you supersede growth, it propels you, it catapults you. There's so many people in the collective that you can see proof of post-traumatic growth after narcissistic abuse relationships. Um, I'm gonna link a couple people down below here that you can check out their YouTube channel that they use their, their experience, trauma, you might not like that word, so their experience with narcissists and how it's catapulted them, how what the, now it's part of their life's work as well. So. Make this a self-fulfilling prophecy that you get to grow, expand, and evolve from this so that you can start to see that it, it was a gift for you somehow, even if it's not right now and you're not seeing it, but it's catapulting you. It, the lessons that you get to learn from these experiences about yourself. I would have never got into this career, what I do, had I not went through my childhood with a narcissistic, two narcissistic caregivers, one overt and one covert. I would have not experienced this healing, this growth, the, these deep understandings and how to help people in their journey and support people in their journey had I not gone through it. So bonus number seven, find the, the good and the, the lessons here of why you are growing through this and why you are gifted this experience and how post-traumatic growth is, boom, a real phenomenon and you get to experience it. Ha! If you found this video and the insights valuable, please leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite activation was. The activation where you're like, ooh, like you just felt that in your body and you're being like that. That, that is some truth. That is some mm, up leveled you. I'd love to hear from you. And I definitely really recommend seeking professional help. Yes, you can do a lot of healing on your own, but you need to understand experiencing these relationships especially if it was from childhood and it was a parent there's a lot of subconscious reframing processing healing to do that needs 
to be guided by somebody with that understanding of the subconscious and can guide you through that. So I recommend clinical hypnotherapy, rapid transformational therapy gets to these core wounds that you might not consciously be aware of yet you're codependent you're still attracting these narcissists you need to get to the root of these core wounds heal the significant events the memories the times that really shaped these false narratives and the from you to operate from these core wounds of believing that you're not wanted not important not good enough not valuable not worthy that needs to be healed and addressed do definitely check out this video of how to heal after the narcissist right here love from your friend megan elise Mwah.